Greetings and welcome once again to the Lovelace Music Experience. I am your host, Tom Lovelace, joined by my co-host, Kristen Sclafani. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. How are you? Folks, I am your host, Tom Lovelace, and you are listening to the Lovelace Music Experience, which is heard each and every Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. right here on WTBQ Radio in Warwick, New York, as well as WGHT in beautiful Pompton Lakes, New Jersey. Hey, folks, you can catch us, as you know by now, at 93.5 FM, 1110 AM on WTBQ, 98.3 FM, and 1500 AM on our WGHT. WGHT, by the way, is located down in the beautiful Pompton Lakes, New Jersey area, the Garden State, if you will. We do broadcast New York, New Jersey, PA, NYC, right, and all parts in between. If you're outside the AM, FM listening area, you can catch us anywhere. Just go to WTBQ dot com click on the listen live button so folks joining us on the show today is a local hudson valley artist uh with the band fm blanket so i'd like to welcome to the show miguel yanuzi good morning miguel good morning it's great to be here the band fm blanket right can you tell the listeners first of all a little bit about yourself and sure. what what you do and a little bit about the band fm blanket sure um fm blanket uh is a uh a family affair, figuratively and literally. Um, it started uh, with my brother Dave, and um, he is a steel guitar player, and I'm a songwriter, so it was good complementary skills. Uh, we weren't vying for the same uh, now, turf. Now, Miguel, when you mentioned steel guitar player, what genre of music does y- your brother perform with that steel guitar? Well, he, needless to say, he's... Uh, a fan of traditional American music. What's unique about Dave is that he is a special accompanist and he really has figured out how to use that instrument in a contemporary context um, and kind of the way I've taken what I love about traditional songwriting and tried to contextualize it. what I can appreciate about that contemporary is, times. is you're mentioning contemporary. And Kristen, when I think of steel guitar, what comes to your mind? I think of country music. Right, absolutely. Right? <laughs> so that's why I asked you what, what genre of music, because I know your music uh, is of the contemporary flavor, because I've listened to it, which is absolutely fantastic. We're going to hear a track coming up in just a moment. But uh, you incorporated your brother incorporated this steel guitar into that music. And I, I really do find that pretty unusual and pretty fascinating, actually. Yes. Uh, sometimes you take it for granted that you have uh, this wonderful musician uh, who's able to do that with this instrument. Um, we also have another core member, Aaron Henry, who uh, is a multi-instrumentalist, and he plays uh, saxophone, woodwinds, Uh, keyboard he sings and what's great about them is that they are also both great engineers and they my brother uh, co-produced and mixed our first album and Aaron kind of moved into that seat for our new Heartbeeps EP this time around all right and are there any other members of the band FM Blanket yes our current lineup is made up of uh, illustrious peers uh, that we have recorded played and uh, been friends with for a lifetime. And uh, we have uh, Randy Schrager on drums, who's a well-known uh, New York and around the world. Right. Adam Roberts on bass, who is also uh, well-known in New York for a long time. And Mr. Brian Joyce on guitar, who is a uh, guitar player and a talent uh, that more people should know about. and. Um, we, like I said, we've been friends for a lifetime, recording, playing, and... Um, now this lineup that you just went through, that you just mentioned, is this the original lineup, or has the band undergone, you know, member changes throughout the years and things like that? Some of these guys have come in and out of it. Um, there right. have been a number of incarnations that kind of led up to uh, the current lineup, uh, with Dave and Aaron kind of being the core three for right. most of it. Well, look, without further ado, why don't we go ahead and hear a track from FM Blanket. And I do believe the first track we're going to hear is titled Heartbeeps. Yes, this is the title track from our new EP, the Heartbeeps EP. Ladies and gentlemen, FM Blanket.
Yeah. All right, guys. We just heard a track from FM Blanket. It's Heartbeeps. I'm your host, Tom Lovelace, and we will be right back. I am your host, Tom Lovelace, joined by my co-host, Kristen Sclafani, and you are tuned in to the Lovelace Music Experience, which is heard each and every Saturday right here broadcasting live in the beautiful WTBQ studios in Warwick, New York. Joining us in the studio today live is Miguel Yanuzzi, and he is from the band, representing the band, FM Blanket, and we left off with uh, the title track off your new EP, Heart, uh, Heartbeeps. Yes. When was that song written? Um, well, it's funny. Uh, it's been a while since we put out some new music, but uh, we've never stopped. I've never stopped writing songs, and I've never stopped recording uh, with uh, the other members of the band. And it just seemed like these four songs kind of made uh, like a four-song suite that kind of fit and worked together and right. was timely as well. Um, so that's what led to the fruition and kind of the birth of the Heartbeep CP. Sounds like you guys wanted to stay busy during this whole COVID thing. You didn't want to get stale. Is that a fair statement? It is. Um, it wanted to stay productive. Obviously, no musicians were gigging. Right. And uh, that all went away. And it seemed like the right time to finalize and finally share some music with everyone. You know, the, the term, the album title, Heartbeeps, kind of came in part from the, the idea that I wanted everybody to know that FM Blanket still has a pulse and, and something <laughs> to say. Uh, yes. And, you know, it also speaks to kind of to the persistent rhythm and uh, fragility of, of life in general. How long has FM Blanket been, you know, performing? You guys have been around a while now. Yeah, I would say uh, on and off for about 10 years now. 10 years. FM Blanket. Now, when did you guys decide to uh, start sitting down and writing songs? Like, was this 10 years ago or did you go out and and gig for a while and, and and things like that i started out as a guitar player and then i realized i was surrounded by a lot of talented guitar players and uh, i switched over to bass and i found a lot of work as a bass player um, but the whole time i guess i had been writing songs uh, from the beginning but not really thinking of myself as a songwriter eventually you go from doing home recordings to sharing them with your friends and they like them and then you start to go to open mics and sharing them there and you get some positive feedback one in particular was a very kind of songwriters cutting room uh it was the anti-folk hootenanny uh in the uh, east village sure. which was a, a songwriter kind of cutting room of note um throughout the years uh, in new york and um I got some encouragement there, and that led to a spot in an ASCAP singer-songwriter showcase, which was very validating. And I thought, okay, let's let's keep let's keep writing songs. Now, when you guys do go out and perform, uh, do you perform live as uh, as FM Blanket, right? Yes. Okay. Um, of course, pre pre COVID and hopefully post COVID, you guys will be. Uh, you guys are actually performing live tonight. We are sort of sort of. <laughs> All right. What's what's going on tonight with FM Blanket? We have a live stream show from uh, Black Sheep Recording Studio uh, in New Paltz. And uh, originally, uh, I had intended it to be um, at Cassandra Studio in Beacon with the, through our mutual friend, George Spafford, who has also appeared on this show. Yes. Uh, we had a scheduling conflict, unfortunately, and we were very lucky to find Jeff Frey over at Black Sheep Recording. And we're really looking forward to collaborating with him tonight. All right, so we have FM Blanket doing a, a live stream show tonight. What time? 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And how can people tune in? You can tune in on FM Blanket's Facebook page or YouTube page. All right, so we are talking about uh, Heartbeeps, right? The e EP that you guys just came out. When did the EP come out, by the way? The EP came out at the end of November. And who wrote the songs? I write all the songs for FM Blanket. There you go. Yeah, yeah you, 
Miguel, you take care of business. Uh, I try to, but you need uh, you need support and you need some trustworthy cohorts. By Absolutely. Your side. Yes, it takes a team, right? It sure does. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and hear another song off of uh, Heartbeep's EP. And uh, the band is FM Blanket. And the song is Paper Computer. I see your paper computer It counts the numbers while you Paper Computer by FM Blanket. Miguel, let's let's just talk about that song for a second. Sure. Uh, very unusual. Probably uh, from recollection, uh, I, I can't remember playing any any type of genre of music like that on this show before. What would? Let's start off with before we actually get into the song itself. What genre would you refer that to? Mm. That's well, a tough question. Yeah. Right? Sometimes I call FM Blanket's music tr music transmission rock. Um, well, that's, that's a new one. I, I dig it. I like it. Thanks. I think you just created something there. Right? We'll see. All right. So, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a little bit of trance, right? Yeah, there's an electronic music influence on this collection of songs for sure that is something that a love that Aaron and I share. 
right. uh, when we're crafting the songs in the studios, once I come in with the... And Paper Computer and Harpeeps are two songs that I wrote on a keyboard when uh, for a long time my primary uh, instrument for composing was the guitar. Okay. So I think that might have had something to do with it. For the first spring weekend, we have really nice weather and the great conditions will continue into early next week. This afternoon, plenty of sun in the low and mid 50s. Tonight, clear, still cold though, 25 to 30. Sunday, another bright sunny day, 55 to 60. Continued dry with sunshine on Monday, again near 60. From the WTBQ Weather Center, I'm WeatherWorks meteorologist John Leo. WTBQ. Hi, folks. Welcome back. You are tuned in to another episode of the Lovelace Music Experience. We have Miguel Yanuzzi in the studio with us today, representing his band, FM Blanket. And before we get to a live performance, about ready to grace your ears and mine. It's Miguel, you got a beautiful acoustic Martin guitar in your hands right now. What are we about ready to hear? Uh, we're going to hear uh, Tangled Like Strays, which is uh, the second track on the Heartbeep CP. And it's, you know, I would say Paper Computer and Heartbeeps deal with more kind of a macro, there's a macro micro kind of dichotomy on the record and where uh, it shifts between kind of thinking of uh, what's going on uh, you know there's the cover of the album has this surfing android character that's a metaphor for modernity and um heart beeps and paper computer kind of you know they explore some of the contemporary issues that we're dealing with the digital revolution and how all that is affecting life on this planet and tangled like strays and voodoo and charms are more kind of micro they come down and just deal with human connection um tangled like strays in particular deals with uh, loss and the passage of time ladies and gentlemen miguel yanuzzi
Ladies and gentlemen, Miguel Yanuzzi. Fantastic. Thank you. FM Blanket is the band. Uh, incredible performance performed live right here in the WTBQ studios. Uh, Tangled Like Strays. The EP is Heart Beeps. Is Heart Beeps available for purchase, download, things like that? Yes, you can find it on all of your... Um the usual suspect, the, all the platforms, all the streaming platforms, and uh, you know you can follow us on Spotify, Facebook, Instagram. You can find us online. There you go. You guys are available everywhere. Miguel, uh, tangled like strays. How did you come up with that? With that name for that song? Um, because you know what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of cats. I don't know why. Like stray cats. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like like just you know. Well, there's definitely a thread there. Um, <laughs> okay. And I think uh, humans uh, can get tangled uh, like strays, just like their domestic uh, animal counterparts. Um, tangled like strays, you know, um, I just, I have notebooks filled with stream of conscious writing, and uh, sometimes my subconscious takes over and does the heavy lifting, and it takes me a minute to kind of go back and look over the song and say, oh, okay, I think... This is, um, you know, I'm reflecting on, on, on these events or um, sometimes it's a topic, you know, as many songwriters will tell you, there's no one way to write a song. Right. Um, Curious. Lyrics first, melody first, song first. What do you... Um, as far as that's concerned, a kind of same rule of thumb, there's no one way to write a song. There are times where a, a melody and a couplet will come at the same time and I'll go to the guitar or the keyboard and uh, try to harmonize the chord uh, changes. Or um, I've had times where I just turn on, uh, you know, the uh, whatever it was in the past, the tape recorder, or now maybe a computer. Right. And I'm working out an idea on the guitar, and I'll open up to a page of some words that I'm uh, working on, and I'll just sing and play. And I think I'm just kind of messing around and then I'll listen back to it. This happened a couple of times and it's just, it's a song, it's a completed song. Um, so there are different ways that a song can uh, evolve or come to you or, or be uh, birthed in that way. You know. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the studio today with the one and only Miguel Yanuzzi. He's representing his band, FM Blanket. I'm your host, Tom Lovelace. Like many musicians today, Miguel, uh, do you have a home studio where you write and record your songs, or do you use an outside independent studio? I've always been uh, a home recording guy, and uh, in the past, um, kind of maybe felt that um, you know it would be nice to go into a bigger, more professional studio. Um, but in recent years. Uh, you know, some of the biggest records that are put out are all from home studios. It's become kind of a, you know, we talk about modernity and the digital revolution. It has its pros and cons. Right. You know, and uh, one of the pros is making uh, this technology available to people at their home. And I'm curious to see how it affects the next generation of musicians because you already have people who are very young putting records out um, that, and starting a lot sooner than we were uh, having to start out in the clubs and you know right absolutely let's talk about your next track voodoo and charms sure all right when did you write that song what's this song all about uh voodoo and charms has uh, been around for a minute um it made its way onto the hard beep cp because we needed something with all of this uh kind of existential queries and celebrating the unlikely existence of uh life on earth out on the fray of the milky way and uh, <laughs> exactly and kind of paper computer flipping the script on the idea of a paper tiger you know um you know perceive the we all initially perceive technology and the internet online as a convenience to, to communicate with but you know what what's the price we pay uh the privacy and uh well, data sharing yeah. you know Right, that's um, all it. Uh, at, at this stage of the game, I think if you own a cell phone, right, everybody knows where you're at at any given time. Yes, so that said, uh, Voodoo and Charms kind of is here to remind us that all you need is love and that that is our anchor in this life and in this abyss. Are you ready to play? Sure. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Voodoo and Charms by Miguel Yanuzzi. Tides pull away through cluttered highways and smoke stacked sky rides away from here now. She's got a streak, but anyhow, falls the right way above the tree lined streets and the sand dune evenings. School's out, watch out. It's all coming out in this Yoga students driving Corvettes Making flexible death threats On an unseen byway and On the same tree line street I brought something to eat Check out this way It's voodoo and charms, a truth that brings harm. I won't do you harm, just hold out your arm. When someone stands still, another eats pills. Just do it your way, it'll all be. Today. Traffic went away and the tide somehow stayed and the street came my way. Above the tree line street, what an odd place to meet and the street came my way. Charms, ladies and gentlemen, an FM Blanca original song written by Miguel Yanuzzi. Yes, thank you, Tom. There's one more thing I wanted to say about Voodoo and Charms. Uh, there was another uh, longtime music cohort, an old, old friend from all of our early days in New York City as younger uh, people uh, who wrote a beautiful string arrangement uh, for that song uh, that is on the album version. Uh, Jordan McLean, who is best known as the trumpet player for the uh, Afrobeat band uh, Anti Ballas, who was just nominated for a well deserved uh, World Music Grammy after being a, an institution for 20 years. Um, and Jordan is always gracious enough to lend his talents to our albums, uh, whether it's playing his horn or, in this case, writing this beautiful string arrangement. You know, there's something to be said, Kristen, about musicians. You know, we may be competitive at times, let's say, but at the end of the day, Miguel, we are willing to help one another, right? Yes, well, and you hope, I hope to be a catalyst to bring, with the songs, to bring uh, these people together so that we can, you know, in a sense, a greater good of rallying around these songs. and. Uh, I know what they're going to bring to the table and that you can give these people creative license to help you create wonderful arrangements. What, what are some or what were some of your influences throughout the years as far as, you know, musicians music. go? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, needless to say, the way we hear music now and for a long time, uh, there's a lot of different influences, a lot of different styles. I mean, I'm a kid from the suburbs originally, so rock and roll. Uh, rock and roll from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, 
in particular. Um, and then later I fell under the spell of jazz and, and bossa nova music and funk music, and, you know, Afrobeat, which you can hear a little bit of that influence on Heartbeeps, the song Heartbeeps. Um, but, you know, at heart, uh, I found that my talents and what I can bring to the table is uh, songwriting. And I'm a songwriter. And How many original songs do you figure you have under your belt? Uh, I started writing songs uh, when I was 19 years old. And now, let's just say I'm a lot older than that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a uh, little. All right, look, before we wrap up the show, you got a show, a live stream show uh, coming up tonight. Yes. How can people tune in to catch FM Blanket? FM Blanket live stream show tonight uh, from Black Sheep Recording Studio in New Paltz. You can watch it live from FM Blanket's Facebook or YouTube page. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There you go. Just... Open up the old computer and enjoy some FM blanket music. Miguel, we want to thank you very much for coming into the studio today. Thank you, guys. I had a great time. People want to find out more about FM blanket. I know that you're on Facebook. Uh, any websites or anything like that? Or you what's could, the best way? Uh, right now, uh, I would say the usual suspects of social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And uh, yeah, we plan on having a website back up at some point soon. Miguel, it's been an absolute pleasure. You're welcome back anytime. Thank you so much. I'm your host, Tom Lovelace, and we will be right back. Mm -hmm.